Christy, um, you have had uh, quite the journey in real estate. I know it started off in the mortgage industry, mm -hmm. uh, you know, during that fun time in 08 and 09, right? <laughs> yeah, I actually was probably a part of the housing crash because I was doing subprime <laughs> loans. In so it was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, well, the funny thing is I, I I talked to one of our mortgage reps and I was like, I don't know who's giving these people these loans. I don't understand. I would never loan them a dime. I, I don't know who's doing this. And he was the one that told me they were chopping them up and selling them on the stock market. And I was horrified. I just realized like this is not going to end well. So um, I actually got out of all of my investments in 2007 and so I was a little bit protected in 2008 when, you know, the market crashed. I lost a bunch of money in deposits, but I didn't lose nearly as much money as, you know, most people did during that time. So I got a, bit, a little bit lucky there, but um, I've been in real estate pretty much my whole life. My mom, my mom taught herself how to fix up houses by going to the library and checking out books and I watched her fix up a ghetto house that we grew up in and they made a huge profit and that's what took us to the suburbs. So, um, you know, I kind of saw that whole journey with fixing up houses and, and how that could generate, you know, income and wealth. And that's how I got started in the business. And I've done a lot of different things in real estate. So it's been, it's definitely been quite the journey. See, there, there was a way to learn how to fix up a house before YouTube, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's called the library. Well, <laughs> and I, 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 <laughs> so I see you bought your first home when you were 23 and you uh, mm -hmm. totally remodeled it. I, I actually had you beat. I bought my first house at 19. The difference was I just made it worse. I didn't. You had a motorcycle <laughs> in the living room for years. It was not in the living room. That's right. It was in pieces in the it, living room and the dining room and the kitchen. No, it was not. It was in the entry foyer. The motor to my Volkswagen Baja buggy was in the living room. Oh, okay. I got that mixed up. Sorry. Did you sell it for a profit though? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's what, awesome. what was interesting when I bought it, Jimmy Carter was president and the going interest rate from my FHA loan was 14 and a half percent. Oh Wow. And, but I got state bond money and the way now state bond money, they'll subsidize your down payment. And back right. then they subsidized your interest rate. And I, it was a non-qualifying uh, FHA loan. So what, as soon as I bought the house, why I got it. <clears throat> anyway, they subsidized my interest rate. I was only paying seven and a quarter. Oh, wow. Uh, but I immediately started getting letters uh, in the mail from people that wanted to buy my house with so much money down and they would just take over my payments, obviously. So yep. even when the interest rates were in double digits, there were still people in the real estate oh, investing yeah, business. No doubt.